New this morning, right now the city of Dublin is welcoming entrepreneurs who are filling some of their empty storefronts downtown. And our morning reporter Wanye Reese is live with us in the studio this morning. Wanye, city leaders say there is a reason that business owners have their eyes on Dublin. That's right, Carly and Caitlin, if you walk down Jackson Street right here in downtown Dublin, you'll see some new businesses have already opened up shot in just the past year. Now I paid a visit to see what's bringing about that change. Looking down West Jackson Street, it's hard not to notice new businesses like Two Dames Bridal and more. Owner Kelsey Dame says her own store has always been a dream. I always wanted to open my own business. Um, my family's always had businesses. But the 25-year-old now has her own bridal gown store that also sells clothes and specialty items as well. A thought Dame still can't believe. It's seeing your dreams come to life. It's, there's really no words. I'm really excited. And according to Tara Bradshaw, who oversees the Downtown Development Authority, new business owners like Dame are starting to become a lot more common. Just in the last 12 months, we've seen seven new businesses, almost 40 jobs, and about $7 million worth of investment. So that's pretty incredible for us, especially a town Dublin size. Bradshaw says Dublin's commitment to enhancing parking and fixing green spaces is the reason these businesses are making their mark. And Bradshaw tells me one of the reasons businesses are coming here to Dublin is because of tax incentives that they offer. Also, the community-oriented environment here in the city. The historic tax credit funded by the federal and state government gives owners of historic buildings 20 to 25 percent of their renovation costs back for keeping the building in its original condition, Bradshaw says. Currently, seven historic sites are being renovated, and Dame says despite all the construction, she knows she picked the right spot. So there's tons of events down here. There's always something going on. There's always foot traffic down here, and it's really building up. So we're excited to be down here with um, the community. Now, Bradshaw says the city of Dublin is always talking to developers to try and lure new businesses to the city. But Caitlin and Carly, she tells me the success that they're seeing with small businesses is really pushing them to attract these entrepreneurs, but they also want to really support them in their endeavors. Thank you, Anya. You know, someone once told me that the city of Dublin is one of the fastest growing cities because it's Dublin every day. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Caitlin brought the jokes this morning. I know. The he city also had two cups of coffee, huh? Uh -huh. Well, a cup and a half, so I'm almost <laughs> there. Just wait. The city also credits a recent increase in tourism, giving a boost to their downtown business. I'm going to steal that joke, by the way. You're welcome. If you live